some of these skills like telepathy, remote mm-hmm. viewing, and channeling, do you think it's important to develop those uh, for personal growth or does it not matter? It, it can be useful, but the bottom line is it does not matter. You don't ever have to do anything paranormal or live in any other reality other than this virtual reality that we call our physical universe in order to grow up. That's all about making the right choices. As a matter of fact, almost all the choices that are important are right here in this reality, this virtual reality. So doing anything else is not necessary. It's not essential. But on the other side of it, those doing those things will lead you on a path that will broaden your view, open your mind, challenge your skepticism, and that will all help you grow up. So if you do go on these paths, what you will find is, and a lot of people do this, they, they come in to this area because they're very enamored of the powers, you know. They want to be able to read minds. They want to be able to, to look at the future probabilities. They want to be able to, to get uh, information, let's say, about a person. You know, you can get information about a person's spiritual quality, about their emotional state, about their health. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can use your mind to heal people, or you can use them to make people sick. You see, it's all things that, that are available, and they think all of this is powers, and they'd like to do it. Well, if you come to it with that egotistical idea that it's power, well, you'll have a real hard time with it, because you won't be able to get out of your head out of your intellect, and you won't work from the being level. So you'll be frustrated because mostly you'll try and try and try and nothing will happen. Okay, so the system is kind of self, self-policing, self if you will. Okay, but if you, if you actually seriously say, well, I understand, I really need to work on it. I need to learn how to clear my mind. I need to learn how to get into the being level. Well, getting into being level, another word for that is becoming authentic, you see. So if you start practicing becoming authentic, you practice being very skeptical, you practice getting the noise out of your mind, just those practices will start to give you a bigger picture and you will start to become kinder and more cooperative and more caring. And those traits will start to develop all on their own just because you start seeing a bigger picture when you realize that you are connected to everyone and everything, well, that makes you a little less self-centered. It's not just about you. You see yourself as a piece of a larger thing instead of seeing yourself as the center of your own universe, you see? So it helps you grow up. So working on these these, uh, paranormal things often is a path that leads people to grow up. So that's the connection between them. But they're not necessary. You can grow up without ever doing any of that, without ever walking down any of those paths. All you have to do is have a desire to care about people, right? cooperate. Wanna, you, you think not about yourself, but how can, I, you know, how can I serve? What can I do? How can I help? Rather than what can I get? Who can I use? <laughs> you know, this sort of thing. So if you just want to change that and you have a serious intent to, it'll change. You'll start to grow up.